Alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds contain two electrophilic positions, their carbonyl carbons and their beta carbons. And whether a particular nucleophile adds to the carbonyl or the beta carbon depends on its electronic nature. To understand this, we can make use of a theory called hard soft acid base theory, which distinguishes between hard and soft nucleophiles. Very small nucleophiles with high charge density, so called hard nucleophiles, add to the carbonyl carbon in a 1 2 fashion, while large, polarizable soft nucleophiles add to the beta carbon in a conjugate or 1 4 fashion. Hard nucleophiles are fully ionic or contain very high partial negative charge at the nucleophilic atom, and these are things like organolithiums and Grignard reagents, compounds with pretty much anionic carbons. The reactivity of these highly charged compounds is driven by what we might call charge control. These hard nucleophiles are attracted to the partial positive charge of the carbonyl carbon. If we look at the partial charges in a typical unsaturated carbonyl compound, what we see is that the partially positive carbon is the carbonyl carbon, and in fact, the beta carbon is often partially negative. Hard nucleophiles like RLI and RMGX are attracted to the partial positive charge of the carbonyl carbon and react there. This is an example of charge control. Soft nucleophiles are associated with less partial negative charge. And these are things like amines, alkoxides, thiols, enolates, delocalized negative charges, enamines, organocuprates, and cyanide. And the reactivity of the soft nucleophiles is really driven by orbital control. The nucleophile engages with an empty orbital, the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital in the unsaturated carbonyl. And the largest lobe in the LUMO of the unsaturated carbonyl is located at the beta carbon. This large LUMO density essentially provides a target for the filled nucleophilic orbital within the soft nucleophile. And because the beta carbon is the location of the largest LUMO density in a typical alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl, soft nucleophiles adhere selectively. And so to summarize, soft nucleophiles add to the beta carbon through a homo-lumo overlap effect where the largest lobe in the LUMO gets engaged, and that's on the beta carbon, while hard nucleophiles add to the carbonyl carbon selectively as a result of charge control. They're attracted to the partial positive charge of the carbonyl carbon, which is generally greater, more positive in other words, than the partial charge on the beta carbon.